of the good news and bad news about taxes. It's that time of year again. Ah, taxes. We're getting to taxes. <laughs> they're going to print more money and they're going to raise taxes. So if you're sitting there fat, dumb, and happy, and you're just happy with your, I don't know what you guys, what employees do anymore, but I think they already sucked that out of your wallet a long time ago. I mean, our taxes are gone. But in my opinion, given the state of the economy in 2021, you better pay attention to taxes. And next year, hopefully in 2022, you might do something different. Yeah, and the name, the name of the game is, are they qualified? Let me say it again, Tiger Woods is the greatest golfer I ever lived. He still has to qualify to play in the Masters. Do, do you know what I mean? And most people just wanna go out there and play the Masters. And then and they wonder why they get their butts kicked. They wonder why they get turned down. Then they say it's racism or your discrimination. No, you haven't qualified, idiot. We strongly suggest you legally qualify, but also work only with qualified advisors. So when we come back, we'll be going more into how Hopefully by 2022, I won't be having this conversation with you because you'll be saying, oh good, I'm making more money, but I'm paying less taxes and people can't sue me. Stick the Hoover in your pocket and suck it all out because well, we have a new tax coming on that's gonna make the rich even richer, it's called a carbon tax. It's the green new deal. And the average person goes, hey, what's that? What's a carbon tax? Now it's gonna make, for most people, poorer, but it'll make certain people richer. And, and I think that's the whole point, is there's taxes that can make, can benefit you and taxes that are gonna decimate you. You gotta know the difference. It's like an <laughs> asset versus a liability. If you start calling li assets or liabilities assets, you're in trouble. And how I do my very, very, very best, and Kim does her very, very best, to not pay them. You know legally. I mean? legally, 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 because I remember the first one of the first paychecks I got is said, geez, <laughs> what happened to my money? <laughs> We're talking about not paying taxes and making millions of dollars legally, 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 legally. You know, you can cheat the system, but you'll just go to jail and become somebody's boyfriend. So you don't want to do that. You know, oh, unless you're a Democrat, of course, you get. Or, or, the, or the people that want to pay high taxes and don't question it. Because, oh, what if the IRS, what if the IRS comes after me? Oh my yeah. God, the IRS comes after me. So you can listen to it again, because this is a very big subject, taxes. Big, big subject. It's, this is a one in four part series on taxes because April is coming in America. One of the ads of, ads of March, but April is coming for taxes. And if, you're gonna, if you pay taxes, you're an idiot. You've done something wrong. I know some of you hate Trump and some of you love Biden and all this. It doesn't make any difference. It has nothing to do with Trump or Biden. If you're an idiot, you'll pay taxes. And the more money you make, because they're going to give you a pay raise, you'll pay more taxes. So teachers don't get the money anyway. No. Do, do you know what I mean? If people knew, oh, I was at some supermarket and they said, would you mind donating to the teachers? I said, yes, I would mind. They already get enough of my money, <laughs> you know? so. I'm not, I'm, I'm probably gonna be demonetized and deplatformed now for saying all this because I'm not against school teachers. I'm against paying taxes. And then we wanna educate people on how to pay taxes, not pay taxes legally, like former president Donald Trump. Garrett, what do, what do you have to say about the combination of protecting yourself from lawsuits, but as well as from the government? Well, first of all, you wanna protect yourself from lawsuits. We're a hugely litigious society. But you also want to protect yourself from the government if possible. Now, you know, the IRS has some rules that they can go right through your corporation. You know, you can't, you can't really protect yourself in, in some certain cases from the IRS. Uh, but you still, in terms of private litigation, you need a corporation or an LLC because that for me is the biggest risk. Uh, you need insurance as the first line of defense. And then you need these entities as a second line of defense. Because again, people are suing all the time. And it's going to get worse. I mean, would you say that's going to, going to happen? Yeah, it is going to get worse. Yeah. Um, the courts haven't even opened up yet. We don't know how bad it's going to be, but it's coming. Employees pay about 50% in tax. So when you say to a kid, go to school and get a job, they're going to pay 50% of what they earn to the government. Not that smart. So. If 
S stands for smart, like doctors and lawyers and accountants, self-employed. <laughs> they really get screwed. 60%. So all your A students out there, congratulations. And a lot of this is covered in A students, more for B students. And B students pay 20%. Why? Because B student, I mean, B quadrant produces jobs. And what the government wants are more people who can create jobs. Maybe not in this country, but in my country, big problem. So we're tax incentivized. The more jobs we create, the less tax we pay. Who pays the tax? These guys. What do you want to say about taxes and what people can do to minimize them? Because that's what that's what they want to hear. They don't. They don't want to hear about anything else. Yeah. And what's and what's coming down the road with well, under well, this administration? It, you know, going to your point about you know their ta like the carbon tax is that remember that the tax law is a series of incentives. You know, it's just a bunch of stimulus packages rolled up into tax incentives. Uh, the CARES Act was tax incentives. This last one had this last bill had tax incentives. The next one. Yeah, all that money that they're doling out, those are tax credits. So you just have to understand that the government does everything, everything that they want to encourage, they do with tax incentives. And so all you have to do is find out what they want you to do, go do it, and you don't pay tax. That, frankly, if you look at, at uh, Trump and uh, his, you know, he, he earned, what, $400 million dollars on The Apprentice and then gets a $70 million refund in taxes. Well, why was that? Because he did what the government wanted. He took the money from The Apprentice and put it into real estate. Do something and 99% of the people go, oh yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah, but they, but don't, they don't do, do anything. As um, but Buckminster Fuller guys and Vincent Joseph Jesus Don says, everybody knows a lot, they just don't do anything. They sit there and get their pockets picked so there's two things, reason Garrett and Tom, accountant and attorney are important to this. Garrett's specialty is corporate law. And you gotta protect yourself, one, from taxes, and number two, from lawsuits. Well, you know, uh, taxes are going up. Um, unless uh, you're smart and you get educated and get the right advisors and get qualified, and then taxes are going down. And I think taxes are going down further and further for those who um, really understand the incentives that are coming. Yeah. Another thing too is that this guy says, should I buy real estate to avoid taxes? I said, don't you ever do that. That is the most stupid thing you can do. That's what being qualified means. You don't like, ever do things to to avoid taxes. You gotta, you know, I, I've taken real estate courses. I'm, I've taken them since I was in the 20s. And that's why I understand real estate. Well, Kim has managed thousands of properties. She understands real estate. But you don't just buy real estate to avoid taxes. No. Is that correct, Tom? No, uh, you don't buy anything to avoid taxes. I can't tell you how many people will tell me, well, my accountant said I need to buy a, a Hummer uh, by the end of the year to avoid taxes. I'm going, so do you need the Hummer? No. So you're going to, so basically you're going to give up a hundred thousand dollars to save $30,000. That makes no sense. Same with real estate. Why would you get into something you don't understand? Why don't you look at the investment first and the tax consequences second? Depreciation is an ex in a, is a deduction for tax purposes, but it's no money out of your pocket. So because of that, what's really happening is you're lowering your taxes. You're lowering your taxes with the depreciation, okay, because you pay on net income, right? So you lower your taxes with depreciation, which increases the amount of cash flow. Yeah, let, so let, let me say this much. So let's say I have $100,000 here that goes to taxes. But because I have depreciation, I don't have to pay the 100,000 in taxes. So that means my income goes up, but it also means my expenses went down. This is number one of all the things that's hard to understand. Is this is simple. Everybody knows appreciation. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows amortization. I, I paid my car off, I paid my student loan off. But this here is the trick here. You see, depreciation means you don't, instead of paying 100000 in taxes to the government, I keep the income. That's why it goes up. So we're tax incentivized. The more jobs we create, the less tax we pay. Who pays the tax? These guys. <laughs>
No, that's true. Like, you know, these guys, B, B quadrant means you have employee, over 500 employees. If you have over 500 employees, you know, different states in America will come to, come to you, which you might move into our state, we'll give you tax breaks. The reason they want you to move to your, like they want me to move from Arizona where I live now to California is because I'll create jobs. That's the reason. So we get tax breaks. These guys get screwed. I mean, they pay higher taxes here. And the I quadrant pays zero. Proven there's a God. Now there's one condition. To get 0% tax, you need a team. You can't just do it by yourself. You have to have accountants, attorneys, and real estate guys. You have to have bankers on your side. So that's why having a team is important. Uh, just recently, I made several million dollars last month, tax-free, legally. I say that because, and that's what you'll learn in geo. I say that because, legally, because you don't have to be a crook to be, you don't pay tax, you have to be smart. The government wants you to pay no tax. Taxes are incentives. The reason I pay no taxes is because like I said, I have four houses I live in, but 5,000 houses are rent out. By me providing housing, I pay zero tax because that's what the government wants me to do.